Uh, hey, YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. I'm going to read more of our book, Poison Power, by Dr. John Goffman and Arthur R. Tamplin. Uh, we're on Chapter 4, page 119, on the first paragraph. Before I do that, I wanted to show you this book. I found it on my bookshelves. It's a great starter book in case you don't know very much about natural healing or health or anything like this. It was written by Dr. See his name? Lyndon Smith, MD. And it's called Feed Your Body Right. He wrote a book called Feed Your Kids Right, which was a great book for me when I my children, I was raising my children. But this explains a lot and it's it's a good basic book. He was chased out of the industry. I wanted to share that with you. So let's get back to reading this book. Our main star. Poison Power. This is a really powerful book because it, it's a it's spoken in a way that I understand it. No disaster in man's health history could match this one had people truly been exposed to radiation dose stated to be safe by a standard setting body, the National Committee on Radiation Protection. Let me read that again. No disaster in man's health history could match this one had people truly been exposed to this radiation dose stated to be safe by a standard setting body, the National Committee on Radiation Protection. It is something of a stretch of public credulity, credulity, you guys know what I'm saying, credulousness and confidence public credulousness and confidence to call for lasting faith in such standard setters. Earlier we spoke of the horrors of increasing cancer plus leukemia to double the spontaneous occurrence. The NCRP quote safe unquote dose could have provoked a catastrophe 21 times larger than that. And this is only the beginning of the incredible fiasco of standard setting for technology. Up to now, we have considered only the cancer plus leukemia part of the hazard. Everyone concerned about radiation hazards to man knows that the genetic consequences in future generations gives every expectation of being far more severe than the cancer plus leukemia risk in the current generation of humans. The United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation, UNSCARE, yeah, they unscare us, that's for sure, has uh, indicated that it takes about 10 to 100 rads to double the spontaneous rate of genetic mutations. Professor Letterberg, the eminent geneticist, has recently estimated approximately 50 rads to double the mutation rate. His estimate is almost precisely in the center of the range estimated by Unskar, so we may explore the consequences of this estimate. At the average reproductive age of 30 years, a person receiving the NCRP safe 0.1 rad per day would have accumulated 1,095 rads we saw above by 30 years old. So if the genetic mutation rad is doubled by every 50 rads, then it is increased 21 times by 1,095 rads. So the NCRP safe dose of 0.1 rads per day would have meant a 21% increase in mutation rate. Contrast this with Professor Letterberg's recent admonition that society would be well advised not to add 1% to the mutation rate. Contrast 21% with 1%. Wow. It is only by a quirk of fate and timing that society escaped acceptance of the National Committee on Radiation Protection's re recommendation and its results. I think we've already passed that. The nuclear industry, the nuclear electric industry and other atomic energy programs just weren't ready technologically for widespread expansion in 1954. In the short years after 1954, scientists began to wake up a little and realize the enormity of error represented by the pronouncement of the NCRP. It was obvious that a massive reduction in doses to be allowed for humans must be made immediately. 
biologists in the 1956 through 1958 period, realizing the enormity of their past error, had an opportunity to, to implement a sound policy with respect to allowable radiation dosage, but they did not do so. A sound policy of public health protection gave way to a powerful imperative of, quote, convenience, unquote, for the promoters of technology. The scientists asked themselves instead, how long could they push the allowable radiation dose to the public without interfering with the, quote, orderly development of atomic energy, unquote. So they issued suggestion, suggested standards along the following lines. 5.0 rads per year for workers in atomic energy. 0 0.5 rads per year for individuals in the population at large. 0 0.17 rads per year average for the population at large. What a come down these numbers represent from 36 rads per year being safe or without physical effect. Incredible as it seems, scientists in a few short years had, a change, had to change a recommendation downward between 7 and 200 times. And what evidence did these standard setting scientists provide that the quote new unquote standards of allowable radiation would be safe? None whatever. Absolutely none. Obscuritanist, gook all characterized has characterized all efforts to set obscurinist he's I love this language obscuritanist gobbledygook has characterized all efforts to set so-called safe or allowable standards for industrial poisons radioactive or other in truth Standard setters know full well there is no evidence for any safe amount of a poison such as radiation or radioactivity. We are perfectly happy to consider the errors of the past as part of the learning process. But the standard setters are not satisfied to learn by errors. They defend their errors of the past and try to justify them, their unbelievable errors of the present. For example, the catastrophic statement of NCRP in 1954 are explained this way, quote, we are, not, oh, we, are not, we are not recommending that people be exposed widely to 0 0.1 rad per day, unquote. Thank heaven for this. But of what earthly use is a pronouncement of a standard setting body that 0.1 rad per day is without physical effect upon the exposed person other than as a guidance for technologists so that they can plan their designs including safety features when the nuclear electricity promoters are asked about hazards due to irradiation at the quote allowable unquote doses of radiation they go into speeches about the expert scientists who set these allowable interfering doses Inferring doses, excuse me, let me read that again. They go into speeches about expert scientists who set these allowable, inferring safe doses after careful deliberation. Indeed, the electric utility industry buys two-page advertisements in national magazines to present precisely this justification for safety of the, quote, allowable, unquote, doses. When the evidence is presented to the standard setters that large numbers of cancers, leukemias, and genetic disorders would accrue from population exposure at the allowable dose, they answer, we didn't mean for people to ever reach those allowable doses. Wow. Recently, the charade has assumed even more ridiculous proportions as the nuclear electricity salesmen have attempted to, fit to defend their obvious, obviously indefensible standards for human radiation exposure. An attempt at justification, bizarre in the extreme, is now presented for the 0 0.17 rads allowable for the population at large. It is known that the natural sources of radiation plus those from medical uses of x-rays 
add up to approximately 0 0.17 rads per year. Aha, say the proponents of the nuclear electricity and other nuclear energy programs. We shall allow the, quote, peaceful atom, unquote, to give an amount additional that will just equal what people already are getting from other sources. But why would anyone think of doubling the harm already being produced from 0 0.01 rads from natural plus medical radiation? From what has already been discussed, we know that natural and medical radiation produce cancer and genetic harm in direct proportion to the dose received, down to the lowest doses. No, ionizing, no amount of ionizing radiation is safe. Wow, that's the end of chapter four. The next chapter is number five, Promises, Promises. Huh. Yeah, we've seen that, huh? I know about that one. Okay, so it's 11.09, you guys. I, uh, I'm going to do a second reading, but I just wanted to get this up. Chai, you guys, um, put your courage feet on, and let's just find solutions. Talk to you later.